Okay, so let us merge these two together. Connect them. Okay. Okay, select these two. Um, go down to collapse. Collapse selected. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, next thing, what we're up to, just this long handle bar. We can just extrude it from this part. Mm. Oops, it's editable mace, so let me convert it to editable poly. Okay, this one, and then just pressing the shift key, pull it out. Uh, I just did it two times, so I can just delete that control backspace. Okay, now I want to detach this. Um, let me just detach this. Okay. So we have got all these as separate parts. Okay. Um, let me make it a little more longer. I think it's too short, about this size. Okay. Uh, so we need one back down here as well. So we can just duplicate this one. Pressing the shift key, drag it down. This time let me just do a copy. Okay. And just delete this half part. Okay. So for uh, the next part, let me just pull it back and then just select the border A's, extrude it pressing the shift key then just okay let me just detach this okay, detach okay mm, okay for this one let me go to hierarchy and then affect people to only send it to object uh, turn of that okay uh, let me just um, increase the size for this one. Maybe this size a little too bigger. I can also reduce that. Okay. So uh, I'll just design this one in a moment. But first of all, let me just finish this part right here. Uh, for that, let me just oops, border A's, then just down. Again, pressing the shift key, extrude it outward. Okay, again, R, extrude it out. Let me see what's that like. Okay, again, one more time. Just remember, I'm just holding shift key and extruding them. Uh, well. time out oh, last time this one and then you can just scale that down without pressing the shift key okay then you can go to vertex select all the done vertex and weld them together okay and then pull that a little bit back okay so now for this part um, let me just mm, add some edges right there uh, let me connect maybe about this one okay and let me just select all these edges right here okay or maybe I want to add two more right here ring them and then connect and just do it just single Okay, and then just deselect this one, move it back as well. Okay, now let me go to side view. Just select all these edges, do a quick chamfer. Or maybe, uh, I think it will be more easier. Okay, selecting this, do extrude. Sorry, I forgot to do inset. Inset. And here you can choose by polygon. Uh, just reduce the amount. Just a little bit. Okay. And then do extrude. Uh, 
I think the inset amount was a little too less. So let me do the inset one more time. Oops. 1.3 about that, okay. And let me do a extrude as well. It's too much, so just a bit. Okay. And just select the AZs and do a chamfer. Uh, very lace amount, we don't need that too much maybe 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 okay okay in this way we did that was as well uh, so since we have got it low poly we need to just smooth them out uh, this part looks pretty good F4 okay so smoothing out them Set like this and just go ahead down, down here. You can just break smoothing group so that will just smooth it fine for you for this kind of part. Okay. And for this one, I can just um, select the middle edges, just connect them. Two segments. Pretty tight. Okay. And add on a turbo smooth on that. Turbo split. Okay, that one's fine too. And same for this part as well. Select these faces and then just go down and just smoothing group. Press any of them, that will do fine. Okay, and maybe for this one, this part as well, uh, I'll just extract them. This uh, detach. Okay. What we'll do is um, select the these edges. Maybe we, we could do ring uh, and then do a loop and then do a chamfer. I mean, for this one, I don't select the uh, edges. That was just kind of a hole, so I won't do that. A um, little bit more amount for this one. Okay, or maybe increase the segments to two, or maybe three as well. Okay, okay, and then add one segment right here. Ring connect on to back. Okay, maybe we want one right in here as well. So connect. Okay. Maybe we can just scale it down again. Okay. It's better to add some more segments right in here so there will be some more support edges. Okay. I'll do the same thing to add on turbo smooth for this. Up, oh, sorry. Turbo smooth. Okay. That looks pretty fine. Ah, uh, finally we are done with our axe. So let me just position these two again. Final at finally. Okay, just move it to its position, and this one as well. Okay. So now here's our axe. Okay guys, um, I hope you guys learned something new from this course, or let's say tutorial. It's me, Sansar. I'll be back next time. Thanks for watching you.